IDA has commissioned a research to evaluate the educational impact of a robotics kit called Kibo by a research team from Tufts University in the United States. The research will study the impact of introducing developmentally appropriate robotics in early childhood in the Singapore context and will draw out pedagogical practices and benefits as well as the support and structures needed to bring about the desired child development outcomes. Kibo is a robot kit specifically designed for young children aged 4 to 7 years old. It appeals to both technically minded kids and those that connect more to arts and culture or physical activity. Young children learn by doing. Children build their own robot with Kibo, program it to do what they want, and decorate it using art and craft materials. Kibo does all this without requiring screen time from PCs, tablets, or smartphones. Kibo's actions are programmed using interlocking wooden programming blocks. This journey started with a workshop to train the preschool teachers involved in the research on how to use Kibo in their lessons. Bringing back what they have learned, the teachers will have to complete a curriculum that will introduce the children to foundational robotics, engineering and programming concepts in a developmentally appropriate way. A dance curriculum is integrated into the Kibo activities to allow children to express themselves artistically and learn about dances of the various cultures in Singapore and around the world. The children learn about the engineers and the engineering design process. A firm understanding of the process guided them in their first project of designing and building their first vehicle. The children learn about different types of robots and its characteristics. Kibo and its variety of parts and sensors were then introduced to the children. The children decorated Kibo and with the guidance of their teachers managed to program Kibo to move for the very first time. The children were then introduced to a very simplified concept of programming and how Kibo would respond to them if they could give it the right instructions. After which, they formed groups to choreograph Kibo to perform various dances to songs that they were already familiar with. This helped to prepare them for their final performance at the end of the curriculum. Having an understanding of human senses, the children were able to relate to the senses of the robots. The child understands that robots, similar to humans, require senses to help them gather information about the world around them. Through practice and guidance, the children become more adept at handling Kibo and are ready to pick up more advanced concepts in Kibo programming, which include parameters like repeat and if conditions. The mastery of the different parameters allows the children to use more of Kibo's senses and program it to execute more advanced programs. For the final performance, the children got themselves into groups, decided and choreographed a dance for Kibo under the guidance of their teachers. Using art and craft materials, music, programming blocks and senses, the children expressed their inner artists and transformed their Kibos into beautiful dances that hail from different parts of the world. I think they are more confident of themselves and they are actually speaking up more also and especially those quiet ones, they are more involved, yeah, especially mixing with friends and working together. Uh, apart from learning the, the, the usual curriculum, they have this to uh, explore mm -hmm. and then uh, be creative. Yeah. and innovative and also conf more confident of themselves which is good in building the holistic development. They are always looking forward, um, week after week. They get really excited when new concepts are, are introduced and they are really, really um, enthusiastic when tasks are being carried out and especially manipulating with Kibo, putting programming, scanning. Preliminary findings also show that teachers are able to implement the robotic curriculums in their classes and they are not only able to implement what we gave them but also to adapt and modify the curriculum to meet the needs of their own students. I like Kibo because Kibo is a robot and it's fun. Uh, I think that this is a very good exposure to the children uh, every time Ingrid comes back from the Kibo class, she's very excited and tells us about what she achieved in each lesson. More importantly, Kibo lets the children learn from fun. 
his uh, brain development is very fast. They doing all this creation, helping to develop this a lot of this uh, idea creation.